In this exercise, we're going to be implementing the main view for our gradebook application. Our objectives for this exercise are we are going to implement the JSP files, we're going to implement the MVC render command for showing the assignment list, we're going to implement a MVC render command for showing a single assignment, we're going to implement the backend class for the UI management toolbar. And finally, we're going to test it all out in the user interface. So as you can see, I've opened up LifeRay Dev Studio. I have our gradebook server started and all our modules are synchronized. We're going to begin by updating the contents of the init.jsp file within our gradebook dash web module. Now by convention, the init.jsp file is used to centralize imports, taglib declarations, variable initializations, and any common tasks for all the user interface JSP files. The init.jsp is then included in the other JSP files, like the view.jsp. We'll use taglib declarations for clay and liferay front end, liferay item selector, as well as imports for the classes we will be using in the front end implementation. So we'll go ahead and navigate to our init.jsp file. And we'll grab the code from our exercise snippet. Save our file. Next, we'll move on to view.jsp. The view.jsp implements the assignments list view. We'll use the management toolbar from Clay, as well as the search container from the Lifer UI tag library to implement the view. So we'll go ahead and open up our view.jsp and we'll update our contents using our code snippet in those exercise instructions. Save that file. So we'll need three more JSP files to display a single row on the assignment list, show available actions, and display the details view. So in order to do that, we're going to create a subfolder within our resources folder here. And we're going to call that folder assignment. Now, within that assignment folder, we're going to add our three JSP files. So we'll go new file. Uh, now this first one is going to be a JSPF or a JSP fragment. And we're going to call it entry search. columns.jspf. And within that new file, we'll go ahead and add the code listed in your exercise instructions. Uh, you may see a few errors pop up here. Uh, don't worry, those will get resolved as we add the rest of our code. So within that same assignment folder, we'll go ahead and create a new JSP file. This one we'll call entry action. 
actions dot JSP. We'll go ahead and grab the code from our code snippets. Make sure we save our file. And finally, we'll add one more JSP file in that assignment folder. And we're going to call that one view assignment dot JSP. And we'll grab the code for that file out of our exercise instructions. Make sure to save that. So now that we have the JSP files in place, we're going to need MVC command components to take care of the portlet lifecycle handling, as well as the interaction between the user interface and backend. MVC commands respond to portlet URLs, which in JSP files are generated with the portlet tag library. Uh, at this stage, we'll need two MVC render commands one for displaying the assignments list, and one for displaying a single assignment. However, before we can implement our MVC render commands, we need to implement a constants class to hold the command names. This is a good practice to reduce the risk of typos when referencing the command names. So we'll go ahead and create a new class within our gradebook.web.constants package. And we're going to call that MVC command names. Click finish. And we'll implement that according to our code snippets. sure we save that. Next we're going to create a new package within our main Java folder here. And we're going to call that package com.liferay.training .gradebook dot web dot portlet dot action click finish and within that new package we'll go ahead and create a new class and that class we are going to call view assignments plural mvc render command. We'll click finish and implement according to our code snippet.
Uh, don't worry about the errors with the assignments management toolbar display context as we're going to add that in the next step. Uh, next step, we will be adding our render command for viewing a single assignment, which we are going to call view single assignment MVC render command. And we'll implement that according to our code snippet. Make sure we save that. Our last task at this step is going to be to implement the backing class for the clay management toolbar. So we'll start that process off by creating yet another new package within our main Java folder. And we're going to call that co package com.liferay.training. dot gradebook dot web dot display dot context and within that new package we'll create a new class and that class we are going to call assignments management toolbar display context and we'll implement that class according to our code snippet Sure, we save. And now we'll head over to the UI where we can test our uh, changes to the gradebook web module. So, as you can see, I've opened up the UI in our instance of Liferay DXP, and we can now see that our gradebook application has implemented a new view. Now, in the next exercise, we will be adding the proper MVC commands so that we can go ahead and start adding some assignments to our application. Mm -hmm.